If I had even the slightest inkling that the flight would be delayed, I would have either rescheduled my flight to New York for a different day or taken my chances with driving. Flight delays are universally disliked, but the shocking reality of a three-hour flight being postponed for over 20 hours surpassed any reasonable expectation. The disbelief struck me for the third time as I looked up witnessing the transformation of blue letters into red, spelling out the dreaded word, delayed. Shaking my head in disbelief, I tried to drown out the chorus of impatient protesters now gathering at the front counters. Accepting that I wouldn't be heading home anytime soon, I decided to make the most of the situation. I discovered a cozy coffee shop in the airport terminal, treating myself to a cappuccino, followed by a Mediterranean meal at one of the airport restaurants. Passing the time, I played several games on my cell phone, including 10 rounds of solitaire. Realizing the need to reschedule meetings, I made phone calls to clients and to vent my frustration, reached out to family and friends who could empathize with my travel woes. When the flight finally departed 21 hours later, my only thought was getting home. A travel voucher was offered as compensation for the inconvenience, and while it was a commendable effort to address the issue, some passengers remained unconvinced, vowing never to fly with the same airline again. Vocabulary If I had even the slightest inkling, this phrase suggests that if the person had the smallest hint or vague understanding about something. Postponed, delayed or rescheduled to a later time or date. Surpassed any reasonable expectation. Exceeded what could have been anticipated or expected to a degree that goes beyond what is considered reasonable. The disbelief struck me. This expression indicates that a feeling of disbelief or astonishment suddenly came over the person. Shaking my head in disbelief, physically moving one's head from side to side as a gesture of expressing disbelief or disagreement. Drown out the chorus of impatient protesters. Overwhelm or silence the collective noise of a group of impatient protesters. The airport terminal. The building or facility at an airport where passengers arrive and depart, containing various services and amenities. Treating myself to a cappuccino. Indulging oneself by enjoying a cappuccino, a coffee beverage, typically consisting of espresso, steamed milk, and frothed milk. Passing the time. Engaging in activities to occupy oneself during a period of waiting or idleness. Rounds of solitaire. Playing the card game solitaire, a single-player game usually played with a standard deck of playing cards. My travel woes, difficulties, challenges, or problems experienced during one's travels. A travel voucher offered as compensation. A document or coupon given to a traveler as reimbursement or Compensation for inconveniences or issues during their journey. It was a commendable effort. Recognition that someone or something made a praiseworthy attempt or displayed a laudable level of effort. Remained unconvinced. 
not persuaded or convinced despite attempts to present an argument or evidence, vowing to never fly with the same airline again, making a solemn promise or commitment to oneself to avoid using a particular airline for future travels. Analyze. If I had even the slightest inkling that the flight would be delayed, I would have either rescheduled my flight to New York for a different day or taken my chances with driving. Meaning, the speaker states that if they had a small indication or hint that the flight might have been late, then they would have taken different actions. Flight delays are universally disliked. But the shocking reality of a three-hour flight being postponed for over 20 hours surpassed any reasonable expectation, meaning the speaker describes the generally disliked nature of flight delays, followed by the unexpected and extreme situation where a three-hour flight delay turned into a postponement of over 20 hours exceeding any reasonable expectation. The disbelief struck me for the third time as I looked up, witnessing the transformation of blue letters into red, spelling out the dreaded word, delayed, meaning the speaker expresses their disbelief which occurs for the third time as they observe the change in information, presumably on the digital departure board, display from blue to red, revealing the unwelcome message of a flight delay. Shaking my head in disbelief, I tried to drown out the chorus of impatient protesters now gathering at the front counters, meaning, this sentence is describing the speaker's physical reaction of shaking their head in disbelief while attempting to ignore the collective noise and complaints of impatient protesters congregating at the airport counters. Accepting that I wouldn't be heading home anytime soon, I decided to make the most of the situation meaning the speaker acknowledges the inevitable delay and chose to make the best of the situation rather than dwelling on the inconvenience. I discovered a cozy coffee shop in the airport terminal, treating myself to a cappuccino, followed by a Mediterranean meal at one of the airport restaurants, meaning the speaker describes their positive response to the delay by finding comfort in a coffee shop, enjoying a cappuccino, and later having a Mediterranean meal at an airport restaurant. Passing the time, I played several games on my cell phone, including 10 rounds of solitaire, meaning the speaker describes how they occupied their time during the delay by engaging in cell phone games specifically playing 10 rounds of solitaire. Realizing the need to reschedule meetings, I made phone calls to clients and, to vent my frustration, reached out to family and friends who could empathize with my travel woes. Meaning, as the speaker noticed the necessity to rearrange scheduled meetings, the speaker made phone calls to clients and, to express frustration, contacted family and friends who could understand their travel difficulties. When the flight finally departed, 21 hours later, my only thought was getting home, meaning the speaker expresses their primary focus on returning home as the flight finally departed after a 21 hour delay. A travel voucher was offered as compensation for the inconvenience, and while it was a commendable effort to address the issue, some passengers remained unconvinced 
vowing never to fly with the same airline again. Meaning, the speaker mentions that they received compensation. Compensation is any reimbursement, assistance, or remedy provided by an airline to a passenger in response to issues, inconveniences, or difficulties they may have experienced during air travel. Their compensation was provided in the form of a travel voucher, acknowledging the airline's effort to address the inconvenience, but noting that some passengers were not convinced and pledged not to fly with the same airline in the future. Test. What would the speaker have done if they had any indication of a potential flight delay? How long was the originally scheduled flight delay for? What color transformation in the display indicated the flight delay to the speaker? What did the speaker try to do while witnessing the protest at the front counters? How did the speaker react to the delay when accepting that they wouldn't be heading home soon? Where did the speaker find comfort during the delay? What activity did the speaker engage in to pass the time during the delay? What realization prompted the speaker to make phone calls during the delay? How long did the flight delay last before departure? What was offered to the passengers as compensation for the inconvenience? Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this.